my name is Lizzie. Each week I bring along a different fold and that's to encourage you to take some time out for yourself. Uh, Self-care time through doing something a little bit creative and nurturing and simply using paper as a beautiful natural material. Um, obviously an invention originally from China, an amazing thing. There's so much you can do with paper but most of all it's about just quietly giving yourself some time to focus and make something special for yourself to lift your spirits. So around spring I was making a little cherry blossom and I love this idea of season, celebrating the season that you're in. At the moment it's autumn and it's always a it's always a hard one in the UK because the the light drops, it can get it can get dark earlier, it does get dark earlier, and we kind of we miss that miss the summer that we've been enjoying um the thing that always really cheers me up is again thinking about your well-being is going out into a park and looking for those beautiful orange and red leaves and maybe kicking some leaves maybe picking up some beautiful ones so i have been having a cherry blossom in my window it's clearly time to take them down i need to put up something that's seasonal so i just thought for myself um i would go and find some beautiful autumn leaves the thing with leaves is they will dry out and crumple up so they're very trans transient they're very beautiful when you find them to enjoy them but they're not great for decoration so i thought i'd make myself some paper versions based very much on real leaves and I just thought maybe I could share that with you. So it's a bit, I suppose a bit of kirigami. Um, gami means paper, kiri means cutting, origami means uh, folding, gami means paper. So we're actually going to do a little tiny mixture of mostly cutting and then also a little bit of folding which I thought really brings them to life. So what you need to do really is to go outside. So this is going to encourage you to go outside to the park and go and find some beautiful leaves. <clears throat> so actually you may keep them in a little bag just because you'll find they'll dry out otherwise. So go and see what lovely autumn leaves you can find. Um, lice shapes. Probably the smaller ones would be better for making decorations um, and something like a sycamore maple leaves are particularly lovely this is simpler to cut out which is better um but i have to say i really love cherry blossom sorry cherry trees which obviously in spring have, have been blossomed now have produced gorgeous red leaves so i am going to have a go at drawing around a leaf something like this can you see the edge of it is so beautiful now if you're to really carefully draw around this it will take you quite a while that's fine give yourself that time and then to very carefully cut it out as well so I would recommend some very fine sort of nail scissors very fine scissors if you can if you're going to do something like this if you think actually I can't do something that detailed then maybe go and find something like an oak leaf uh, which is just a simpler shape um, I'll just show you briefly and then also how to fold so Definitely you could look at the actual folds on the leaf, but there is a way of doing something that looks rather nice through a little gentle piece of origami. So I've been making all sorts of things which I'm going to put up. Also I've been finding sycamore seeds as well, so these are all my paper versions of them. Um, all sorts of beautiful leaves and preserving them this way. And I've just done very gentle little folds, so maybe you can go out go out into the park. But I have really liked the cherry blossom, beautiful red leaves. So I will show you how to do that um, and I hope this is this is something a little bit different. I'm going to show you with yellow paper just because you'll be able to see it more clearly. Here goes. So I will just show you how I get started. It, it's fairly obvious but anyway just to show you. So I would line up and then you've got to really carefully hold it down. Go really take your time. If you need glasses you'll definitely need this. Even I'm beginning to find my eyesight a little bit slightly off. So just very, very carefully drawing around and you'll have to keep it absolutely in the same place. So I'm not going to do that now because it would take so long, but that's what you need to do. And true Blue Peter style, here's a leaf I cut out earlier. So you can see I've done the drawings um, and then maybe, definitely took me a while to do, turn around. I find it a good thing while listening to the radio. Or, yeah nice to listen or maybe a good podcast and sit there drawing around the leaves 
gently cutting them out but as I said you could go for smoother leaves which will be much easier to cut out and that will also work but I'm just going to show you how to fold at the moment it's just a flat cut out so how to how to do that well, I just want you to definitely go and have a look at a real leaf as well can you see where all of the, the veins are there so you've got a central line and then you've got these upward lines now I could attempt to, to base the fold exactly on this but there is another way of doing it so I thought I'd show you that so first of all I would turn it round to yes as I've done so I've got the lines with where you can see all the, the pencil turn it around to the other side we might as well not see those so I'm going to do a line through the middle of the leaf that would be the first sort of fold um, you will find it's probably not exactly straight and that's that's good it's going to follow from the very tip all the way down to the base there the main structure of it so there's a slight curve to this actually I rather like that that's already looking better isn't it and then <clears throat> think about the angle of the veins there so the next way to do it is to think about they would go upwards so I folded the leaf in half and I'm going to fold upwards so I'm going to do that by thinking about that line and I'm just folding a line as it would be the right sort of direction and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep them so equally spaced so I'm going to sort of zigzag it so I am going to next go that way so it was it was just like this and I started thinking about the direction there and I have folded it in and then I'm doing back and forth about the same width between each of these fold I find it very hard to put these things into words I hope you're following this like so like so and then there we go maybe a final one there that's it okay so hopefully looks a bit strange but hopefully actually I might do just one there that could do with another fold too so it's been an equal equal lines there so it looks like this, like a zigzag. So I'm going to open it up. And now open up the inside of the leaf. And hey presto, hopefully that feels like the sort of lovely shapeliness of a real cherry leaf. Um, maybe you might do that in red. It's a little bit harder than to see the line and I've done it in yellow in this case so that you can see it. But maybe some yellow, orange, red. Maybe look out for some nice paper. Or maybe you could do some painting as well. Look at the real thing and just enjoy these beautiful, beautiful colours. I think the reds, oranges and yellows will really lift your spirits. So it's a really nice thing to do to, I think, to mark autumn. Maybe also with the stem there, I might slightly squash it i'm slightly folding it in again make giving it a bit of three dimension because otherwise it was literally just flat and leaves are pretty flat but they do have that slight slight textures which make it look really special so i hope that will make some maybe nice decorations maybe you could pop them up in your window maybe you could even have them overlapping as well and obviously when it gets towards the festive time then there can be different decorations but I hope at the moment this could be a way of celebrating actually the the way that autumn can bring this coziness and enjoy this time of year um thank you I hope that's I hope that will make you happy <laughs> thank you